quickly got hit twice here and then snapped it again and looks like he is talking to the trainer however. It's aggressive play two guys going for the ball. Blake uh, hurt his leg and Krzyzewski out there helping him to his feet. And what Mike is wanting the referee to do is make sure that they get that floor washed on down. I mean rubbed down because uh, all the water coming off those jerseys. Taking plenty of time here. The ACC's rookie of the year. Jim, how, can you believe this one? Yeah, he is the first yeah. rookie of the year ever to play from, Mike for Krzyzewski. Mike Krzyzewski in the ACC. I mean, you'd say with all of the great <laughs> How is that possible? But he is well, the maybe first Maybe it says one. something about the system, too. That, that is That's true. That's what it says. That is true. You know what? We'll see the play right here. You see Mike Krzyzewski out there on the floor, by the way, Jim. You know, this is only the second time, and it happened both here uh, on this particular floor. The second time in NCAA history that three of the teams were coached by a guy that already won a national championship. Happened in 92 and then again. Back in 92, you had Bob Knight and you had Krzyzewski. You had Steve Fisher. And Cincinnati with Huggins was the fourth team. Let's go over to Armikateyan. Thanks, Jim. The trainer from Maryland was just taking a long, hard look at uh, Blake's right ankle. It's still tender and he's tested it out. And I'll let you know as soon as we see whether he's going to go back in. Back to you. Oh, this is really a struggle for Yes, Tuhan. it is. A real, he can't, he's going to have to be carried off this floor. A little different than what we saw Gilbert Arenas in that first game today who looked like he was, and they're going to take Duhan to the locker room. So we probably will not be seeing him anymore today. We sure hope he's okay. He's played an outstanding game from a, certainly from an energy standpoint today. It's another one. And uh, Duhan's mother Vivian is going to the locker room. She has moved from Louisiana to Durham, North Carolina to be with her son. Makes it back down to one. 3.35 to go. 280, Maryland 79. Excuse me, this is my cab. I'm sorry. Can we share a cab? Why not? You're with Fidelity. That's right. Let me ask you something. I still have a 401k from a job that I had three jobs ago. Can I move that? Oh, most of the time, sure. It's called a rollover. Really? We can do all the paperwork, and you just sign and roll it into an IRA, and you can buy stocks or mutual funds, whatever you're comfortable with. And I'd be in control of it? Sure. Get my life down to one sheet of paper. To invest, call, click, or visit Fidelity. Announcing Singular, the wireless company that believes in the value of self-expression. Mr. Walker. Yes, hi. I was having a bad day today. I've had enough! I decided that I was going to get in my car and you know, take a drive. Anyway, I took a wrong turn. Relax. We'll get you home. Impala LS with 200 horsepower and fortunately OnStar. Chevy Impala will be there. extra space wherever we go having an affair with attorney tom capano was her first mistake trying to leave would be her last they're looking for a missing girl and never let her go cbs sunday after that nasty collision with steve blake deuce chris duhan has left the court the trainers haven't actually taken him to the locker room he's just off the court inside the tunnel they're doing concussion tests on him and duhan's mother vivian harper ran out of the stands 
and she's there with him right now too, Jim. Just as we speak, he just came back, sat down on the bench, and Vanier with Nicholas on his back. Nate James not blocked out, kept that ball alive for Battier inside. Well, Duhan was backstage for just a moment and then uh, returned right in that report. And certainly uh, far more alert than he was three or four minutes ago. Jim, we mentioned this uh, last week about Battier. In your lifetime as an ACC player, if you're playing all the regular season games and your team is lucky enough to go to the ACC championship in the tournament, you can play in 76 games. That's what Battier did in his career. He won in 69 of them. Unbelievable. Especially when you factor in how hard it is to win on the road in that conference. Oh, absolutely. And how hard it is to be in the ACC championship for four years. 25 for Battier in this game. Upping the lead to three again. Taking a long time to get the ball in the low post. Stolen the away by Dunleavy. They're trying to get it the back. Yeah, but taking too much time to get it there because Inside. look at what he's done. Boozer. By not going to Baxter, they're allowing Duke to keep Boozer on the floor with four fouls and being very effective in the low post. Timeout, Maryland. Duke has now attained its largest lead of the game. I need a car. Shopping for a used car will never be the same. No, a convertible, a red one, with under 15,000 miles. Welcome to Autotrader.com. With a million and a half used cars updated daily, it's the biggest, best used car site on the planet. You couldn't help me with a loan, could you? Can we help you? Autotrader.com. Your car is waiting. When you're tuned into global and local markets like we are, you gain a certain perspective. That perspective is reflected in Franklin Templeton's diverse range of over 100 funds. There's one to match your style, no matter what that is today. Franklin Templeton Investments. Gain perspective. Pretty remarkable scene here after Chris Duhon could barely walk off the court after that collision with Steve Blake. The trainers just made him run as fast as he could up and down the stairs. There's a good chance he'll be going back in. We'll keep you posted, Jim. Oh, can you imagine that? I don't think he'd be going back in if they st keep the lead right here with 2.58 to go. Vivian Harper back in her seat. Uh, <laughs> Having a whole lot better, you know, too. Don't we all? Great to see Blake back out on the floor as well. And now Maryland says we're going inside. Uh -oh, and that's just gonna be for Boozer. This was a good move by Maryland, but it came very late. What do they call it? Oh, they're going the other way. That's it's going against Baxter, who can't believe it. Oh, he falls to the floor in I disbelief. Can't either. Baxter, that's it for Baxter. He was posted up inside. Can Instead you believe of Boozer that? fouling out, it'll be Baxter. Let's see the play. Wow. That's either a no call. I, I just couldn't see it. I thought these officials really recovered, Jim, as did Duke in the second half from a very poor first half. And they were doing a good job in this second half, but that is a huge call. He has fouled out. He, again, used the word desperate to get to the Final Four after their win against Stanford, wanting to get their coach there for the first time, their school there for the first time, and devastation was the look he had when he found out it was going the other way. He fell to his knees. Well, I will say this. You'll see Baxter running out of, the, out of there right now. He's really had a great NCAA tournament, set a new record for Maryland in regard to scoring. But I really thought that Maryland went about three minutes too long, Jim, to not go to him down low. Boozer. Because it allowed this man to stay yep. in the game, and he's been the real force for Duke the last five minutes. Look at those four fouls. They've been four fouls for a long time. Hitting his free throws until that one pops out. Thinking Dixon now if you're Maryland. This is going against Williams. And, 
and if you're Duke University, you do not want any fouls here because you want this clock to be moving. Round four, after Duke's big comeback the first time, winning it at overtime, Maryland winning at Cameron, the ACC tournament a tap with a second to go. The rematch tonight. Mm. It certainly has uh, been everything everybody had hoped it would be, and Blake will have to try to calm things here for the second attempt. The biggest comeback, halftime deficit-wise, in a national semifinal was Memphis over Providence in 73, down nine at the half. Duke was 11 behind, and this one could set the new record. And that was a Providence team that knocked Maryland out of a chance to come into a Final Four early. One of the two times left he had, Maryland in the Elite Eight. 75 was the other year when Louisville ended their Final Four hopes of Ernie going D. there. Yep. Swinging it around. Go 220 back. to play. Jason Williams again. He's got Miller on him. I think he can take Miller. There he goes. Gives it up. Boozer. What a half he's had. There, there is no defense out there if they're going to put Miller on Jason Williams. He'll go by him time and time again. And the largest lead of the game for Duke is raised to seven. They can't find Dixon. James is on Dixon. He just won't let him have the ball. Holden in the right spot. Holden. Morris kept, kept it alive along with Dixon. Something else Mike Krzyzewski is finding out tonight. Boozer can play a lot of minutes. It looks like he is uh, almost back to full shape after sitting down because of that foot injury. His third game back. He went 22 minutes in each of the regional games in Philadelphia. But only had one field goal. And no offense there. That's not the story for Boozer tonight. Now we got Blake back on Williams. Much better matchup, but he goes by him as well. Williams! There's that strength again when he goes inside. Blake with a three. That's not his shot. Hey, Nate James had a solid game for as a fifth-year senior. Kind of like Edgerson in that first game. Not spectacular, but doing a very good job. A minute to play with possession and up seven. Well, almost complete for Battier is getting a little closer. He's going to have that one-game chance. Well, 50 seconds to go. Duke came back from 10 down at Maryland. Terrapins, can they somehow turn it around? We'll send Battier or Boozer to the line for two. Boozer again, no offense the first two games of this NCAA tournament, but tonight he's got 17, including seven of eight from the field. Well, again, Jim, if, when Gary Williams goes back to look at this film, he'll say, why did we not attack Boozer defensively when we had the four fouls on him? He's played a long time with four fouls. And guess who's coming back in? Duhon. Jim, you know, when you start talking about Boozer, in the NCAA tournament, he did not play in the Good ACC one. tournament Good any one of the three. He did not play Good against one. Monmouth. He did not play against Missouri. Then he only took two shots against UCLA, two shots against Southern California, and today he explodes as the inside force that Duke had earlier. 19 for the Knights. And Duhon comes in for the shooter. Boozer, before he shot that second free throw, knowing he was going to be replaced, looked at his teammates and with his hands indicated talk on defense. Nine-point game, 40 seconds. Only thing here, if you're Duke, you don't want to foul. Dixon, front of the rim, tipped up. Holden a second time. Nicholas, another close-range chance. Holden, well, you can hear Morris, the Duke player saying no foul, no foul. But look at how much time Maryland used just to get that ball in the basket. 25 seconds to go. Duke trying to finish off Maryland. Need a break? Yeah, I'm good. Come on, you've been watching 225 channels, 12 hours straight. Take a break. All right. Duke trying to set the standard for the greatest comeback in national semifinal history. 22 down in the first half. It would not be the greatest comeback in school history. They once oh, were down 
32 in a game. To Tulane. To Tulane. That's 20, the all 29 at the half back in 1950 to win the game. That was the all-time NCAA record. All-time anywhere. Comeback, right? 32 down in the first half. That 29 at the half. That was the days of Dick Grote. And Dick, then, of course, there was the Duke-Carolina comeback game. The, the other way, Walter around. Davis, when there wasn't even a three. And it went against him that time. Eight down with 17 seconds in that one. Now, Jim, 22 you know, seconds here. Williams with two free throws. And, uh, you know, Maryland hoping with that three-point line. If Williams, uh, well, could go like he did with that streak earlier in the year, but not there. Jim, we got to think ahead to Monday night. Arizona Duke, 1988. They were in the final four, but never against each other. 1994 in the final four, but not against each other. And here, Lou Olson will be playing against Duke. This one's over? Yeah, it's over. Well, it is now. Morris gives chase. Williams oh, lays it in. We've seen him use that rim to prevent the, the defender from being able to get to him. He came alive the second half, and he steals it again. Back to back to close it out. Duke with a 33-point turnaround after being down 22. And Mike Krzyzewski goes, wow! He and Gary Williams, good buddies. Gary worked so hard to get here and thought he had Duke on the ropes in that first half.